Lucas here from Via Russian. I have started to learn Spanish and I have a problem. And if you don't make progress learning Russian, then probably you have the same issue as I have with Spanish right now. And my issue is, it is difficult to stay consistent. I want to learn Spanish every day, but somehow I don't manage to do it. And this is really, really a big, if not the biggest issue when you learn a language. So let's talk about why consistency is so important. And then I will also give you my advice and the things I try to implement right now with my Spanish to stay consistent. So first of all, consistency is key if you want to learn a language. Because learning a language doesn't happen overnight. So it is not a matter of weeks or months. So if you really want to learn a language, it is rather a matter of years. And most people who don't make progress or who don't learn a language, they tried actually to do kind of an on and off learning. And it doesn't work. Because first, this is not enough if you only learn once a month or let's say every other week you kind of do some vocabulary practice or you watch a movie or you take one lesson per month in total it's just not enough and the second thing if you don't learn consistently the second problem is that you will give up because if you don't learn consistently it is not as i said in the first point enough it means you don't see progress and after some time you just give up. So most people try this on and off learning for a few months and then they just give up because they don't see pro progress because there's no consistency. So the idea or the main, the main point is if you want to learn a language, you need to be consistent. That's the most important thing. And this problem you should tackle first before you even think about other things such as learning method learning strategies and materials and so on. If you not have solved the problem yet, how to be consistent, all other things, they don't matter at all. So first of all, we need to think about how we become consistent. And I cannot tell you from my experience, I am a little bit surprised because with Russian, I didn't have this problem, but right now I struggle to be consistent when it comes to learning Spanish. It's a surprise for me, yes. But I think the issue is that right now I have a lot of other things to do. So I'm even busier than I was before when I learned Russian. When I learned Russian, I studied, I was a student and there it was easier to prioritize my Russian studies. But right now it is very difficult to prioritize the studies because I have other things to do such as work. And during the day, if I don't have already this fixed schedule that I know, yes, today at this time it is Spanish practice, it is very easy to skip a Spanish session or maybe in your case, if you're also very busy, to skip your Russian session. Just think about it. If you are at work at the end of the day, I guess there are always open tasks and if they're open tasks, you need to decide, do I now continue and try to close my open tasks or do I learn my language? Uh, in my case, it's Spanish. In your case, it's Russian. Most of the time you will make this excuse, job is more important. And it happened to me. And at the end, then the next day, I realized, hey, I forgot to learn Spanish yesterday. You only can avoid this if learning Russian is already a habit. So it's an important part of your life. The problem now is that when you start, it is not a habit, of course, because you just start. And then there are two things, two situations that can happen. The first one, you have a lot of time available. Then it's easy to create a habit because if you have a lot of time, then you can prioritize learning a language over other not so important tasks. But if you're rather busy and, for example, you have very important responsibilities, then it gets very difficult to create a habit because during the day, if you want to create this habit, you will always find excuses to skip 
the learning session, learning a language and do the and prioritize the, uh, the other tasks. And it happened to me now with Spanish, but that it will not happen. I now have a recommendation and things that I will use now to stay consistent learning a language. And my advice or my little trick, it is to connect this new habit, this new language habit to another activity that you already do every day. So another activity that is very important for your personal life. In my case, there are actually only now two activities I can think about uh, to which I can connect learning Spanish. The first one are my mornings. So every morning I take some time only for me and do things that are actually not relevant for let's say my job or maybe for university or other things you need to do in your life. And I take out these 30 minutes, 60 minutes and really do something to improve, improve my skills. Right now I, or in the past I used it for Russian. So I could use it for learning Spanish now because I get up every day in the morning and then I have my free time. And there I could use it immediately for Spanish. The second activity for me, it would be sports. I exercise every day. Every day I do some kind of sports. And then I could connect now learning Spanish to this activity. So it is one activity now, sport and Spanish. And for me, sport is already a habit. So it's very easy to do it every day and not to skip it. So I don't skip it because it's so important for my life. And when I now do Spanish right after sports, I will not forget and I will not skip Spanish because now this activity, this new one, language learning for me will be the same as my habit that already exists, exercising, doing sports. But maybe for you it is an evening routine or night routine because maybe you are not such a morning person that is full of energy in the morning, but you rather prefer to improve your skills and maybe do your hobbies uh, in the evening or at night and then you should connect now learning Russian to these activities and this brings me to a very important point the last point now you already know that if you want to stay consistent you need to connect your new activity learning a language learning Russian to an activity that you already do every day the issue now is that if you are tired after the primary activity, then learning a language after this activity is not efficient. It, re it really doesn't help you. I give you now a very good example. Also in my personal life, I could do this. I could connect learning Spanish to my job or after my job. So I know when I finish work, then I immediately will study Spanish. The issue now is that yeah, I will be consistent because I will not forget it. It's connected to a main activity in my personal life. But the big issue is that I am tired after work. And when you learn a language, you need to have still a lot of brain energy. You need to focus, you need to energize, you, you need to be energized. But after a job, this probably isn't the case and most people do this mistake. So when do most people do a language course right after the job? Yes, it is good because it's easy to be consistent because you connected it to a main activity. But the issue is you're tired, you're exhausted after your job. Then you go to your Russian course and you don't make progress because you cannot focus, you cannot concentrate. And of course, then you, are, you don't enjoy it. It doesn't work. You don't learn this language and then you give up. So connect it to an activity when you are still full of energy after the activity. And this is the reason why I should connect my personal, no, my personal language learning to an activity in the morning because then I am full of energy. I'm a morning person. For me, it would not make sense to connect it to an activity I do at night because there or at this time I'm not in the mental shape to focus, to concentrate and make progress. And therefore my second option it is to connect it to sports. Why? 
because after sports maybe I'm physically tired but mentally I'm full of energy. I'm so motivated, I'm so focused to learn something, to activate my brain cells. And this is for me and I guess for many people not the case when you do language learning after your job. So that's it. Connect it, connect your language sessions. For you it's learning Russian. Do an activity that you do every day, a main activity, but you need to be still full of energy after this main activity so that you can focus, concentrate and make progress. Thanks for watching and if you're interested how I apply now this new, uh, this new strategy, how to stay consistent to my Spanish learning, then leave a comment below and I can keep you updated about my Spanish progress, if it works or if it doesn't work. And if you're not interested, I will just continue to focus on Russian. Thank you very much. See you next time.